Um, to conclude this part um, of the afternoon, I'm going to call up Adam Roosevelt. Roosevelt, apologies, um, to the stage. And just by way of introduction, um, we have had Gilad, who I thought um, was excellent. I'm looking forward to seeing the, the, the demo. Richard, I think, is obviously taking digital trust to the next level. But Adam is going to tell us how we manage it in the real world. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. I won't be too long because I know folks are probably hungry. But I first have to say thank you to Julie uh, for putting this very well put together event. It's marvelous. I've never been to Greece. It's my first time. And I think my future will potentially be here to continue drinking with you fine folks. Okay? <laughs> so thank you again, and also to the speakers who put on a tremendous, a tremendous presentation. I do see some of my colleagues from the Israeli side, and there'll be quite a bit of work that we're going to do around the world. So again, thank you. But I'll, let me start with my background, uh, what I've done and how I got here. You know, I was the kid who plugged the USB into the network at school and took down the network. And, ended up in the principal's office, okay? That's how my career started. And I learned how to effectively build a future of thinking about how I would help my country. I went on to serve in the U.S. military, so 10 years in the U.S. military, okay? I've done so much on the ground, in the actual communities with Afghans during wartime. I served in two combat tours to Afghanistan. And what I can tell you about cybersecurity in my background is that cybersecurity in my training is used to save lives. So if we were not effective, what would happen is we would lose people on the battlefield. So everything in cybersecurity and what you see it today, it has a life and it has a death result if you're not careful. But to be relatable to you all in regards to what cybersecurity is and how we were trained by the U.S. Department of Defense and Department of Homeland Security. And it is true that I do work with ex-Central Intelligence Agency folks, so I'll put that information out there. They've been some of the most interesting people around the world that live behind the door. I spent my entire career behind the door. And it's been interesting living above the water following the intelligence work that I've done in the military and now blending the intelligence and the cyber capabilities to solve some very complex problems for governments, ultra high net worth individuals, private organizations and the like. And what I've seen is the real power about cybersecurity and how it relates to all of you. Maybe some of you are doctors, maybe some of you are construction company, you do investments in construction, real estate. Cybersecurity integrates in what we say 17 critical infrastructure sectors. Each and every one of you belong to a sector. Most of you are trying to be dominant in that sector. The data that you all have, you must protect that data. Now, the protection of data is a very difficult concept because when we say cybersecurity, most people do not know what cybersecurity is. We've never really addressed educating people of all different classes and backgrounds and ages on what cyber is and how it pertains to you. So my job as a communicator has been to translate a very complex industry of cybersecurity. Now, today was my 208th presentation. So if you don't mind, please give me a, hand of, a round of applause for that. <laughs> so 208, and I have addressed people from all countries. I've addressed the Russians. I've addressed the Chinese. I've addressed the Iranians. I've addressed all the countries. And with my presentation of what cyber is, we must come together as a community to really look at what the future of innovation is going to look like and how we contribute to that. Now, I speak from multiple perspectives as a business owner, as a political figure in the United States, okay, and as a collaborator building partnerships to solve these very difficult issues. So what I would leave you all with today is why I would say is that cybersecurity will not just impact the folks in this room, but it also impacts your children, our way of life, how we move forward in our business relationships. There's always a digital tie in the space. Now, I want to get into a few things in regard to protecting digital assets. Now, I mentioned working with the Department of Homeland Security, working with the Department of Defense. I spent my entire life protecting some of the most classified information and missions for my government and also working with other governments like the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. There's so much data in the world, whether it be 
data on finances, whether it be data for top, top secret missions, whether it be geospatial data, real estate data, financial data. So our job was to deploy solutions that would protect that information and make sure that there were not going to be any attacks. We developed enterprise solutions to protect you, your data, and your organizations. Now, there was one question that came up in regards to the future of criminals. And I know Julie and I had this conversation in regards to white collar crime, criminals, and so forth. Now, I've had the pleasure of working with some very interesting people who use cyber and they use intelligence to effectively create organizations that can do some very interesting things. What I'll say is the next generation of criminals and white collar crime, and I'm sure most of you may not know how these folks operate with fraud, manipulating, you know, people are doing investments. We've been able to tell you that we've gone after organized crime. I've been heavily involved with going after the criminals. Now, you all may see criminals from the TV shows. You can identify those people, but what about the corporate criminals who are associated with those particular organizations and wear suits? If you travel with me to the Middle East, this is a very normal day for us. We see Russians, we see the mafia. They are now entering into the cyberspace. They are now using cyber technology and investments to protect their ecosystems. So the next generation of white collar criminals now are, is evolving and you must protect your organization, your future and your interest. So our specialization is to blend cyber and the intelligence capabilities uh, to protect your organization and some of the most complex transactions anywhere around the globe. Now, I think we're coming up on time so what I'll say is this on my last closing notes is there's a lot that we can do. And as a leader in my community, and you're all leaders in your industries and communities, I'm looking to collaborate, to work, to secure infrastructure, to build relationships around the world, and happy to take these steps with you all and the work that you're doing to be a resource to you all. And again, God bless Greece. God bless all of you and what you've been able to accomplish. And again, I really look forward to working with you all. And again, hats off. Thank you, Julie. Thanks.